Bathsheba. Solomon went on to become a great king. He had a lot of wealth and a big army. His kingdom became famous for its and travelers from everywhere came to view its splendor with their own eyes. Solomon also built a magnificent palace in Jerusalem. It took 13 years to complete. The glory of Solomon had spread far and wide. One day, the Queen of Sheba came to visit Jerusalem. She wanted to see if the tales she had heard about King Solomon were true or not. She brought many gifts with her. But she she brought many gifts with her. But she also asked him many questions from her heart. Yet he answered them all, showing his great wisdom. She was truly amazed. There was peace and prosperity in Solomon's kingdom. She said, Israel is fortunate to have a king like you. She returned home with many gifts from Solomon. Solomon annoys God. King Solomon was very rich, but he always managed to spend more than he had. So, he used to take loans and in order to clear his debts, he would divide taxes on his people. Solomon had many wives. They belonged to different countries. Thus, their gods too were different. Solomon made temples for their gods and started worshipping them too. He was turning away from his God. All this made God angry. God appeared to him twice to warn him against worshipping the other gods. But Solomon didn't listen. So God said to Solomon, You have turned away from me, so I will take everything away from you. But for the sake of David, none of this will happen in your lifetime, but in your son's life. And true to God's word, when Solomon's son Rehoboam became the king, he faced many problems. Elijah After King Solomon had died, many kings came and went. Of these, one was Ahab. He married a woman called Jezebel. She started getting all the prophets of God killed. So God decided to curse Israel with a long-lasting drought. He sent his messenger, Elijah, to warn King Ahab. But Ahab paid no heed. So, the drought came to Israel. But Elijah had to hide in the desert to escape Jezebel. The ravens would bring him bread and meat. God then sent Elijah to the city of Sidon. There Elijah saw an old woman and asked her for food. The woman was poor and had a son, but she made a meal for all three of them. Elijah said, Your jug will never be empty of your floor, and your oil will not run out till the drought ends. She discovered that what Elijah had said was true. One day, the old woman's son died. Elijah prayed for her son. Slowly, the boy opened his eyes. The old woman exclaimed, Now, I am sure that you are God's man. 
the fire. Ahab had started worshipping a god called Baal. Elijah revisited Ahab and said, I have come to challenge your god. Let the people see which is the greater, yours or mine. Come to Mount Carmel and bring 450 prophets along with you. The next day, Elijah instructed the prophets to make an altar for Baal while he would make one for his god. No one will light the fire. Let the true god light the fire in the altar. He loudly exclaimed. The prophets of Baal sang loudly, danced and prayed for hours. Yet there was no fire. Then Elijah loudly spoke to the skies above. Lord, show the people that you are their God. Send fire to this altar. Immediately, fire poured down from the sky and the altar caught fire. The people instantly bowed down and started chanting God's name. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.